Hey there everyone, this is Infinity. It is 540 here in the Pacific on March 18th, 2020. And I hope you're all doing really well. It has been definitely an interesting ride these last couple of days, has it not? Uh, the entire world is infected or on the way to being infected with the coronavirus and I am going to do what I can to help people and so I have been guided to provide my healing services, my uh, distance healing services for the coronavirus uh, to anyone who uh, would like to work with me to help them with that. Uh, and excuse me and I'm offering that on a donation basis originally when I put out the uh, podcast a couple of days ago uh, I'm not even sure when that was right now about the coronavirus and how I can help I had it listed on my website for $200 and that is a pretty low rate for the time effort and energy um, but but uh, given the circumstance I was totally fine with that I go as I'm guided for all of my um, for my services what I provide and how much I ask for that service so in these last few days obviously things have gotten really serious and uh it's just going to get more serious and so with that said i have been guided to offer my services on a donation basis so what that means is that you can pay what you can when you can not only is it donation but you can get treatment now and pay for it later if that works out better for you that's fine with me and you can uh and if you have the money to pay now great obviously i need money too so so uh so if you could pay now wonderful or not um i put out a a blog post my very first blog post on my new website and I sent out my very first subscription email today as well I've still been working on edits and updating my website and so I wasn't quite there yet um, but I was getting really close with wanting to, to send out uh, an email announcing my my website however this took precedence and so I sent out an email about this so if you got the email, this podcast is just me. Basically what I'm going to do right now is read that email that I sent out because there's a lot of information there. That's not just about me donating my time um, or, or not donating, but uh, well, I guess I'm donating it, but also taking donations for it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and read this because I wanted to get this out into the podcast world. I'm also going to be posting it on YouTube so everybody can know what I have here to offer. Please share it with your friends and family so they know as well. If they get sick, please contact me. I can help them with what we do with Corona. So I'm going to go ahead and read this now. I'm going to mark this at 3, th uh, let's see, we're going to mark it at 340, getting started here. Okay, update, 3-18-2020. I am giving my coronavirus treatment sessions away on a donation basis. Pay what you can when you can. Originally, when I added this service a few days ago, I was guided to price it at $200, a discounted rate for my time. However, given the recent information that I've received from my guides and guardians, I am now offering my services on a donation basis. Pay what you can when you can. If that is the full 200, awesome. If it's 50, that's fine too. Even if you don't have any money and you are. I can and will help you get over this without getting critically sick, like needing a space in a hospital, needing a ventilator while risking other people to contract it at this critical time. I work globally, so this means you can be anywhere in the world and I can help you. If you or a loved one is already in the hospital, I can help you from there as well. Please contact me to work that out. If you think it may get to that point soon, contact me ASAP. Why take chances with con contracted illnesses that can turn into a very serious situation? 
that can lead to compromising your other organs and even death. This is especially true for those who are at greater risk, but anyone who contracts this disease and it's and it pro progresses will be in a lot more dis or in a lot of discomfort at the very least for around 30 days more possibly. How we take care of you with coronavirus. First, just like any other healing session, we clear the body of negative energy as well as clearing the home and creating a protective barrier around the structure. Then we use infinite love light energy infused into the body, shooting it through each energy center, promoting healing while eradicating a maximum amount of the energy that gives these diseases power. This will greatly improve all symptoms as well as stop the progression of the disease all while helping you with your symptoms immediately. We will concentrate on the chest, throat, and head, the heart, throat, and third eye chakras. We will clear the lungs and all of the airways and dismissing the energy that is taking up space in the lungs, pulling on energy from the heart chakra. We will open up the passages between the throat and chest, helping the breathing issues. We will alleviate pressure in the head and as a severe pressure headache also accompanies this illness. We will send infinite love light energy through the body to help with aches and joint pain. We will further protect the energy body through recovery with a protective shield of energy. Please email me at infinity at thehealingbutterfly.org if you want this treatment session on a donation basis. Divine messages received are confirming projections given by the health community as far as infections projected and bad cases going up in the next week to two weeks and beyond. This will get worse before it gets better. I'm not saying anything that we have not been told. However, I am confirming that it will be worse than predicted here in the U.S. at least. However, there is not going to be a country on the planet that isn't affected. This contagion is super. It is super in the sense that everyone will get it eventually, some much sooner than others, but it is airborne, and that means that the risk of contagion is very high. Infectious rate is nearly 100%. What that means is if you are in close quarters with someone who has it and you inhale the air they are breathing as well, and especially if they sneeze or cough, you, and, or if you touch something that they touched, it is extremely high. It can live on surface areas such as food. Do you wash your food? <laughs> no, for the most part you don't. It is also infectious in the eye and you can get conjunctivitis from it. So unless you have been alone, not touching anything or anyone else has for 14 days, you can get it and you can put it in your eye as well. Coronavirus testing. This will not go over well, but it's the truth, and that's what I put out there. It's almost pointless to be testing at this point because all people should assume they have it or will get it. Reread my entire explanation above. The odds of not getting it, at least not, not right away, are higher if you stay home, bring nature in, go into nature, practice meditation, and seek energy healing to keep your system running at its best. But even those who don't appear to have it do have it. We get it from breathing the air. Then all of us then all of us do not show we are sick for days. Then some of us do slightly, but not even enough to be a warning. By the time people are in beds and on ventilators, they have infected countless people most likely. How can I say that everyone will get it easily? And as the health officials have stated, this is an illness. This illness can hit people very differently. Some will not show symptoms at all. Some will be mildly uncomfortable. And some will be a little run down and show some signs of slight cough or having aches, slight fever. Some people will be sick like the flu. We have been, <coughs> excuse me, we have been told through health officials that small children carry this disease but show no signs of it. This, this shows how widespread the spectrum is. When we say everyone will have it, 
that means that everyone will have periods of being contagious as they are exposed to it. It's usually the first five days, but this clock is always starting over depending on how much exposure you have to anyone else. Some people feel and think that this test, once negative, magically spells them with a barrier from it from catching it from that point forward, and that is crazy. What a negative test means is that you didn't have it at the time the test was taken, but one minute later you could get it. Young people, especially those in their teens and 20s, are not taking this as seriously as they should. And let's be honest, when our government hasn't taken it as seriously as it should, it makes it hard to point figures on the people. The fact that voting in three states happened is like a gas chamber in those states, igniting a firestorm of more people with it. It will be a huge disaster on many levels. There will be deaths there that didn't need to be because of people being exposed. Of course, this will be impossible to prove, but it is fact. In Florida on Tuesday, March 17th, 2020, there was footage of people at the beaches on spring break, like and everything was status quo. And no one thought to tell people not to go swimming and hang on the beach because around the corner voting was going on. Awesome. I want to make clear that I am stating the facts as I have seen them and known them to be and know them to be. Each day gets worse. Each day more countries are making and taking new steps and, and measures for dealing with this, but it has yet to reach its peak. If you know me and have followed me, you know that I'm not one to push fear ever. I am one to push you out of fear. And none of this information is meant to scare anyone, but that is inevitable. Sometimes the truth is scary. Our situation on this planet is different and more difficult for everyone than ever before. It has taken people out of their comfort zones and nothing is normal anywhere. Of course, this is going to be scary. But even as the truth is scary, there is nothing worse than being in denial. And that is exactly what the basis of the tripping up of the U.S. government has done. As anyone can see, if measures weren't taken were taken sooner if facts and the understandings of information wasn't ignored, we wouldn't have the situation we have now in the U.S. Other countries are using the USA as an example of what not to do. What needs to happen now is to be honest, courageous, and take steps that aren't normally taken. People need to stay home and take care of themselves and not worry about how the world is run. It will be sorted out. But taking care of yourself and doing what is best for you and your family, friends, and neighbors is what is needed now. Calm and peace and an understanding of the truth and what is real and what is in store will help us. Not to panic, not to hoard and create a devastating situation worse by putting people in need of things they shouldn't need like toilet paper, baby wipes, paper towels, food. Our supply chain has been compromised globally and because of that we need to conserve, not hoard. It's not the people's fault. Things got very scary very fast and thanks to movies, TV, their imagination and ideas of what is happening or will happen caused those very things to happen. Now there is a shortage everywhere for the basics, and if that continues, it will make this situation worse for everyone. This, is, this isn't even a stomach virus, so please stop hoarding toilet paper. Please stop hoarding baby wipes. Parent need, parents need those for their children. All stores need to stop allowing for hoarding and keep prices where they were before this all started. Or lower the prices, make donations, not price gouge like so many have done. Also, so many of us are relying on people working and shipping and transport, risking getting sick, people delivering food, etc. So please tip them well. Double what you normally do. So for me, that would be $10 or more for a delivery. And that is how I've been living even before this pandemic. I rely on those to bring things to me. And for that service, I feel it is a nice thing to do. Now it is even more needed and we should appreciate their work. Also, Facebook is donating $100 million by offering grants to small businesses affected by this event. Following this, follow this link and you can see the link. I'll put it in the podcast for more information. 
Lastly, I want to remind everyone to allow for this time to review your life. Think of what's important. Use this time to be creative, to write, draw, paint, sing, start a podcast, expand your podcast, get on YouTube, reach out to your guides and guardians and ask for direction and guidance at this time so that you are working on the highest possible frequency of energy that you can. Take time to relax and sleep as you are being asked. Do the projects you haven't done around the house, like clean and clear your space of old stagnant energies, burn sage, palo santo. Take baths as much as possible. Connect with your children and mates in a way you haven't before. Be creative. Connect with Gaia. Go outside. Stay away from people, but get fresh air. Get into nature if you can, where there is some space, and just allow for the connection of our great Mother Earth, Gaia, to soothe, heal, and comfort you. Just a reminder, I work with Gaia herself, the angelic realms, and your guides and guardians, your spirit tribe, ancestors, and animal spirits when it comes to any healing or spiritual connection that I facilitate. If you are not in alignment with that, then please seek other alternative means of connecting in your own way and decide to decide to find an energy healer that can work with you to help clear your body of this energy and help you heal. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already and always live in love. Infinity. <laughs>